Welcome to another episode of Ask Professor V. And in this video, I wanna talk about the things that I wish I could go back and tell my 18 year old self. If I could be 18 and start college over again, I would do things so differently. And none of it has to do with my grades. It all has to do with my approach and outlook on life. The first thing I would tell myself, stop rushing. There's so much pressure to finish your bachelor's degree in four years. And if you don't, you feel like a failure. You feel like there's something wrong with you. And I really fell into that narrative hard. When I was in high school, I was a perfectionist. I had to get straight A's. And that was an internal pressure that I put on myself. None of that came from my parents or anybody. And I don't know why I always held myself to such high standards. As I've talked about before, when I first went to university, I was an economics major. But after about a year, I realized I didn't want to study economics. I didn't want to pursue a career in that field. And I decided to switch to a math major. But instead of taking my time and figuring out what that would look like for me, I panicked and I pushed and found a way to still make that happen within the four year timeline. So instead of just switching to becoming a pure math major, what I did was earn a bachelor's degree in mathematics with an emphasis in economics. That let me still finish within the four year time frame. And I still got my bachelor's degree in econ within those four years. So I completed two bachelor's degrees in four years. But what ended up happening is when I went to graduate school, my master's degree program was only offered for pure mathematics. And since I had a heavy econ background, even as a math major, I took a lot of statistics courses, econometrics, finance courses that didn't prepare me as well for the pure math courses that I needed in my graduate studies. I so wish I went back and had taken that extra year in order to obtain and earn a bachelor's degree in pure math, because it would have set me up so much better for success in my graduate studies. I always felt behind. I always felt I was playing catch up when I compared myself to my classmates because I didn't have that same foundational concept material in my undergraduate courses. And for some reason at the age of 19, taking one extra year to take some coursework that would serve me better in the long term just seemed like the ultimate failure one year felt like such an eternity to me. So looking back, one year is no big deal, especially when you're 30, 40, 50. If you can make a decision and it's gonna set you up better for long-term success, even if it delays you for a year or two, so what? What did I even need to still get that bachelor's in econ for? I still have never used it to this day. So please, if you take anything from this, don't be embarrassed to change your mind and don't rush decisions because of some imaginary timeline. The second thing I wish I knew was this, don't give your time away to things that don't bring you joy. At 18, you feel so much pressure to say yes to everything, your family, social obligations, your friends, things that you think you should do. And I spent so much time and energy pouring myself into things that weren't truly mine. I wish I could go back and give myself the permission to spend that time and energy on my schooling, on dance, on the things that really lit me up. You do not owe anyone your free time. If something feels like more of an obligation than a choice, ask yourself why you're doing it. And the last big thing, keep your passions alive. A lot of you may not know this about me, but I grew up doing ballet. From the age of six until 22, I took ballet class every single week. And when I was in high school, I even went up to four to five times a week. I was able to keep up with it when I was in undergraduate schooling, but once I was in grad school, I had to stop dancing and I missed it. I still miss it. It's so much harder to keep up with those passions when you're trying to work full time and juggle all of the responsibilities of adult life. There's a quote I have in my bio on my Instagram page. It says, I traded in my ponche for a master's degree. If you don't know what a ponche is, you can Google it. But that is actually a quote from my ballet teacher, Miss Sarah. Miss Sarah was my ballet teacher from the age of 13 until 22. And I still keep in contact with her to this very day. She holds a very special place in my heart. Like I said, I stopped dancing when I was in graduate school, a lot of the part because I felt so behind compared to my classmates. But after I graduated, after I had earned my master's degree, I came back and took a ballet class with her. And she gave us a combination where we had to do a ponche. And back in the day, I had a pretty decent ponche on the right side. But that day after that hiatus from ballet, it was pretty much non-existent like this. And after we finished the combination, she made it a point to stop and say to the class, look, she traded in her ponche for a master's degree. 
And I had, that was the truth of what had happened. And I, I don't regret my degree, but I do regret the way I went about obtaining it. I wish that I had still kept a part of myself and what brought me joy alive during that whole process instead of drowning in my studies and making it such a difficult phase in my life. At 18, I wish somebody had told me, you don't need to rush. You don't need to have everything figured out. An extra year won't ruin you. Changing your mind won't ruin you. Letting go of things that aren't yours won't ruin you. But losing yourself might. So slow down. Take time to explore. Stay laser focused on the things that matter, but still make time for the things that make you you. Your future self will thank you. So that concludes this episode of Ask Professor V. If anything resonated with you or if you have any thoughts that you want to share, please leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. Give this video a like and subscribe if you haven't already. You can also follow me on Instagram and TikTok, Math with Professor V. I'll be back Sunday with another episode. And also, if you're studying for finals or you need to brush up on any of your math topics, you're in the right place. Check out my full-length video lectures from Calculus 1, 2, 3, and more, all organized into playlists here on YouTube. Bye, guys.